Hello, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I just wanted to show you a quick thing. Typology, right? Let's look at first Exodus eleven eight. And all these your servants shall come down to me and bow down to me, saying, Get out and all the people who follow you. After that I will go out. Then he went out from Pharaoh in great anger. Revelation 3 9. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not lie. Indeed, I will come, I will make them come and worship before your feet, and to know that I have loved you. Exodus eleven eight. And all these your servants shall come down to me and bow down to me, saying, Get out, and all the people who follow you. After that I will go out. And then he went out from Pharaoh in great anger. The typology is amazing because all the plagues in the book of Exodus are extremely similar to the plagues that are going to be encountered by the inhabitants of this earth during the during the uh, seven years of um, seven years of judgment turning water to blood frogs, lice or gnats Wild animals or flies, pestilence of livestock, boils, thunderstorm of hail and fire, locusts, all of that, all of that is in Revelation. All of it. All of it. It's going to happen. I don't know if you've seen the news, but animals are getting more and more aggressive now. Otters are actually attacking people <laughs> in, in the ocean. Um, An alligator just dragged some old lady to her death here in Florida a couple of days ago. I mean, a bear just I mean things are just animals are starting to attack they're starting to to um, just like just like the Bible said prophecy is unfolding right before our eyes and things are gonna get very spiritual very fast and that's what I wanted to warn you about but just remember guys that because our Almighty God is for us who can be against us and what's the answer nobody it's rough, it's hard, but remember, it's <laughs> it's Adonai, it's the Lord himself that is your front guard, and the God of Israel is your rear guard. He's always there, he's always there, even when you don't feel him, he's always there. And you always feel him. He loves you so very much. If anyone hears this and you're not saved, if you don't know what saved means, it means here on earth, after you die, there's only two places that you can go to, either heaven or hell, and it's for eternity. It's forever, and it's like a new life, basically. Think of, think of the movie The Matrix, you know, where they, where, they, where they were plugged out of The Matrix. Well, when you're born again into the kingdom of God, you're kind of like plugged out of The Matrix, you know, kind of. <sighs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Blessed Trinity, three in one, remember a three-leaf clove three leaf shamrock right it's got three distinctive leaves right but it's all i mean three distinctive cloves but it's all one leaf so it is with the father son and the holy spirit three in one the blessed trinity love you all have a wonderful day and oh i wanted to show you that this is why you need to pray over your children and not only that but you need you yourself everyone including i we need to constantly read the word of god instead of going to the internet because remember that AI is trying to rewrite the Bible right but remember what Revelation said I think it's Revelation heavens and the earth will pass away but my words by will no means pass away and you got Newell from the WEF saying that AI, AI is gonna rewrite the Bible again heavens and earth will pass away but by no means will my words pass away. We're there, guys. We're there. I know we are. But I wanted to show you why it's important to to not look things up on the internet, but to read it for yourselves. Be a Berean. Study. Immerse yourself in the Word of God. Search it for yourself. Because, look, if you look and you did a search for what was the final plague of Egypt, this is what you're going to read. Archaeologists have always believed that the last plague, the death of the firstborn male, was caused by wheat infected with a fungus. Wow. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Hold on.
Maranatha. Hold on, Maranatha. Yevarecha Adonai v'yish melecha. Yair Adonai panav elecha v'gunecha. Isa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. All those who are listening to this, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his presence or his countenance upon you and continue to give you his shalom. In the powerful name, the only name given from the heavens unto man unto which we can be saved, the name of Hashem Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah and Amen. Love you all. Maranatha.